rapper and singer Drake, also known as Aubrey Graham, is among the many influential figures around the world to own multiple extravagant homes. After all, where else are they going to put all that money, right? This time, the multi-Grammy Award winner has recently showcased his latest multi-million dollar mansion in the Two Seas Live music video in 2020, along with an exclusive interview with Architectural Digest in the same year. The 35-year-old Canadian superstar started constructing his custom-built mansion in his hometown in Toronto last 2019, and this ultra-luxury property was envisioned by no other than Canadian luxury architectural and interior designer Ferris Raffuli. Also known as The Embassy, the rapper's crib is valued at $100 million, and it currently sits on over two acres of land. But aside from all its vast lot of land and the enormous price value behind it, there's more to this Toronto mansion than what meets the eye. After all, this is just Drake's most eye-popping pleasure dome to date yet. So do you want to take a peek inside Champagne Poppy's $100 million mansion? Then wait no more. From an indoor basketball court modeled after the NBA courts to a bathroom that plays soft music whenever you enter, here are some of the luxurious amenities and jaw-dropping features that Drake spared no expense on in his Toronto residence, all in one video. A 20,000-piece Swarovski crystal chandelier. Dubbed as the Embassy, Drake's Manor is a home like no other, and it is regarded as a marvel of old-world craftsmanship only embellished with the best that the world has to offer. Indeed, Drake wants nothing less than a luxurious abode, from the size of the rooms to the details that can be spotted on the floors and up the ceilings. The living room, which is the grand room as Drake calls it, is no exception. But aside from its size, which soars up to 44 feet high, there's a masterpiece that greets every guest every time they are led into this great room. No less than any chandelier in the world, the grand room is just furnished with a 20,000-piece Swarovski crystal chandelier. From the name itself, this gleaming light sculpture of the great room contains more than 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystal, which is only the second largest installation of its kind in the world. This world-class jewel is also inspired by Loebmeyer's quintessential metropolitan chandelier, which was originally designed by Hans Harald Roth for the Metropolitan Opera in New York City in 1963. A Bespoke Concert Grand Piano Of course, Drake wanted to make sure that all the work and effort he has put in over the years in the music and showbiz industry are evident from every corner of his ultra-mega-luxurious mansion. So aside from the 20,000-piece Swarovski crystal chandelier that is adorned in the epic great room, this glamorous lounge is also home to a bespoke concert grand piano that will surely hit the sweet spot for many. Since the hotline bling singer has his world completely revolved around the sound of music, this piano is custom-built by only the best. Indeed, it is crafted not only by the Austrian world-renowned piano maker Bosendorfer, but also collaboratively designed by Rafuli and Japanese contemporary artist Takashi Murakami. It is in this lounge area where Drake spends much of his time when he is in the mood to relax, with the great room also containing a massive marble double-sided fireplace with arrays of gray chair arrangements for comfortable seating. The Lavish Canary Yellow Lounge Described by Rafuli as modern art deco, this multi-million dollar mansion is said to be structured with 19th century limestone with cool interiors. The design is every bit lush, running with a monochrome gray, black, and white color scheme. And alas, this vision is undeniably evident in his lavish canary yellow lounge. The highlight of the space is a foliate ceiling with a large Vanini glass sunburst chandelier suspended from the center of concentric illuminated hexagonal panels. Every piece of furniture in this room, as well as every room of the house, was specially created by Rafuli using materials including colored ostrich leather, mohair, moccasar, and bronze. For those interested, fans can catch a glimpse of this particular space in Drake's music videos When to Say When, Chicago Freestyle, and 2C Slide. A 10-Car Garage Aside from the jewels that surround the spaces within the Drake Manor, this multi-million dollar estate is also a spectacle on the outside. Within its heightened fences and enormous gates, its facade is structured like a modern-day palace, with exterior profiles being more minimal and the lines being a bit cleaner even with gray and white color schemes. Of course, the mansion most importantly features a 10-car garage, along with a spacious driveway to house the rapper's vast and world-class auto collection. The garage houses numerous luxury cars, including a Bugatti Veyron, 
a Rolls-Royce Phantom, Mercedes-Benz SLR, McLaren, and a Ferrari to name a few. A world-class recording studio. At this point, and with more than two decades in the music industry, we all know that an artist has got to do what an artist has got to do. So what is a Drake Manor without its very own recording studio, right? So to delve more into his musical inclinations, Drake's mansion includes only some of the world's best recording studios. It is embellished with marble and limestone interiors, and it will surely be a home and a birthplace to many of Drake's newest tracks and singles. Insane Memorabilia now, almost everybody knows that Drake loves to own and show off some of the world's rarest collector's pieces. From NBA championship rings to watches, it is no surprise that the rapper's luxurious abode is surrounded by nothing less than bizarre collectibles and insane memorabilia that you cannot find anywhere else. This multi-million dollar abode was also confirmed to have a special room reserved primarily for his many awards and a hall full of framed sports jerseys. How about that? 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite. In his interview with Architectural Digest, Drake revealed that his favorite spot in the multi-million dollar mansion is no other than his 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite, with cover terraces extending to 1,100 square feet. The rapper revealed that this vast space holds a special place for his peace of mind, as it is the area where he can learn to decompress from the world and at the same time where he can gather his thoughts. But more than the intangible jewel that makes Drake feel at ease, this master bedroom suite is a haven of luxurious features and details. The bed and bed base that anchors this space is derived from Rafuli's newest line for Hostins called Grand Vividu. It weighs approximately one ton and it costs more than many people's entire homes from the floor up. A bar full of various whiskey and champagne sits on the other side of the headboard Chanel tufted leather, further embellished with antique mirror accents. The bedding also features a hummingbird tapestry from the rug company by Alexander McQueen. And the nightstands have mother-of-pearl inlays made only from the best with high-class quality. And a closer look at his master bath. Its centerpiece is no other than a tub that weighs over 4,000 pounds of faceted black marble carved from a single block. This luxurious bath also features a dramatic closet with two stories polished with amethyst hardware and rock crystal with seating furnished with diamond-tufted patterned shearling with embellished nickel studs. An indoor custom NBA regulation size basketball court. And last, but definitely not least, the embassy is also known to be home to an indoor custom NBA regulation size basketball court. Dubbed as the OVO Center, which is short for October's very own, the name of Drake's record label, Drake's very own private court is done up in dark colors. In an exclusive glimpse, DJ Khaled was able to step into this private abode. More recently, Drake also featured his private court in the video for Money in the Grave. If you think that's all that surrounds Drake's Toronto mansion, know that they just keep on coming. Aside from what we have previously mentioned, the embassy also includes an awards room, which chronicles Drake's life from his early years on the Canadian television program Degrassi The Next Generation to his reign as a Grammy-winning artist, the indoor swimming pool encased in black granite, and a kitchen which includes the very first stove from Rafuli's new line for La Cornu. What do you all think of the embassy? Which features and amenities inside Drake's multi-million dollar mansion do you like the best? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.